Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Like so many of us, I was home last week listening to my constituents talk and be concerned about dysfunction. And I discovered that there's a great deal of confusion about what dysfunction is. My friend from the other side of the aisle just said we've sent all kinds of bills over to the Senate where they are held up, held up in the Senate. This is not dysfunction. It may not be happy for my friends on the other side of the aisle, but the Senate is held by the Democrats. If you send them legislation that is inspired by the Tea Party, they're not going to pass that. That's not dysfunction. That's a refusal to govern. Meanwhile, Mr. Speaker, over here, there are five bills that if they were brought to the floor today would pass with significant majorities and each and every one would help the economy and create jobs. The reauthorization of the Exim Bank, comprehensive immigration reform, topping up the highway trust fund, extending unemployment insurance and terrorism risk insurance. Five bills that we could pass today. But the American people need to understand, as they think about dysfunction, that those bills will not be brought up. This House will not work its will. It will not be allowed to work its will. Mr. Speaker, let this House work its will.